Hi guys, I'm Zockley and welcome back to another Xbox Gamepad tutorial. In the last video we went over the basic controls for Space Engineers and in this video we're going to be teaching you how to build your very first ship. So, uh, here we are on the platform here and we're going to open or get my toolbar back up first so we're going to press left bumper right d-pad to get that up and also switch to third person briefly here with the right bumper up d-pad here we are now pressing left stick will bring up our block screen and to start off this small grid which i'm going to build so i'm going to build like a, a small little uh, fighter or something nothing too uh, crazy now I'm going to look for the landing gear so I can lock this landing gear to this platform so it doesn't drift off when I accidentally uh, ram into it or something. So let's uh, find the landing gear, flicking through our tabs with the triggers, and ship essentials is what we need, and actually most blocks in here is what you need to make a ship uh, fly. So let's uh, first select the landing gear on the left here, and just confirm that. Before we do that, it's actually good to look at the, uh, it's, we've got some hints to switch between the large and the small grid, so by doing L, B and Y we can actually switch between the different size grids. So once we select that, because I'm looking at the large grid it has in fact automatically uh, made it large. If I was to look at a small grid you can see here how it switched to small, but what we want to do is get a small grid landing gear floating in space. So to do that we remember the keybind, which is left bumper and Y. And now we've got a small grid landing gear, which will, when placed in the right uh, direction, will actually automatically lock as soon as it's placed. So if I come down here and let's first rotate it. Here we are. Actually, if I do left bumper and right trigger, actually align it to the same grid so it's exactly straight. So once you've got some space, you can see it here, I've rotated it in the right direction, and then I can do right trigger to place that. And as you can see, the green light indicates that this is in fact locked. So if I was to run into this, I'm not going to push it. Because you can push uh, some of the smaller uh, ships and Space Engineers from a kind of a heavy uh, ram with your character here. So this is solid, this, is, this isn't going anywhere now. So now that's placed, we're going to get up uh, back up uh, block selection screen, and now we're going to select uh, basic block light arm, oh no, hold on, that's the heavy arm block there. Well, this is, gives me another opportunity to switch between the variants. So on the D-pad now, the up arrow allows me to switch between the variants here. Now this is the heavy armor here, so we can switch between the slope, the corner, the inverted corner. But heavy armor is going to be quite heavy here, so in fact I want to go back and change the light. It's because I was on the, the wrong panel, I believe. So let's come in here and go to the armor block screen. We can see the light armor blocks. We've got the rounded um, group, and you can see the, the previews of the variants just above me here of what that group contains. Here's the heavy ones down here. So we want the light armor, so we're going to select that. And once again, we can just look at our grids here and begin placing blocks. We're going to build out kind of, oh, oopsie daisy, uh, a basic layer here for us to build on. And this ship is going to be the very bare essentials to make a ship that can fly. We're not going to, again, make it as pretty as some of these ships behind me here. This is really just to show you how to make a ship functional. Once again, I can use the up D-pad to switch between those variants. Um, auto rotates already disabled, which is good. So before I build any further, I'm going to activate symmetry modes on this grid to save me a lot of time uh, when I'm building this ship out. So I'm going to turn on my jetpack and get a little bit of height so I can get a better uh, view of this grid. And now when I press right stick, we agree to be some different controls now that I have a block uh, in my equipped here. You can see we can create blueprints, copy grids, cut grids, paste grids. We want the end of the symmetry setup at the very bottom here. That's right bumper to confirm. And now we can see the plane of symmetry that we're going to be placing down 
We can uh, change the plane symmetry with the down arrow, moving it from the center of a block to the edge of a block, depending if you want to have a very central block or if you want to have the, the plane of symmetry between two blocks. So we can see there as I go through the different the different modes. But if I go through all of them, it'll actually I'll lose that there for a second. So what I actually what I want to do is go back into that again, down here, back and we go. And that is the one we want, this uh, red one here. And to place the plane, we're going to press the right D-pad. There we go, it's kind of, because a bit darker there, so we can see it's placed. And once we're in that, we, we can choose to delete it with the left D-pad. And to exit symmetry mode, we can do the up D-pad. Now, you can see our symmetry mode is working. And when I place a block on either side of that, it places it on the other side as well. So very, very useful for speeding up your building process. So let's get some more uh, stuff down here. Now we've got a three block wide platform. And I'm going to build the next essential uh, block that we need. And that is a cockpit. So let's get that down. I'm going to press our left stick go over to actually it's already on the first page it happens to be so we can select that again we can go through the variants we've got uh, the fighter cockpit industrial cockpit so we'll, we'll use a normal cockpit though for now and then we can place that at the front next what we need is to create uh, some power for this ship so we've got a couple of options of power um, Let's go to the power tab. One part, haven't I? There it is. Production medical. So we've got the small reactor is an option, which has to be, uh, we have to use uranium with that. In creative mode, it won't need anything, but in survival, you'll have to find, mine, refine um, uranium to make that work. Solar panels, also power source. Uh, and we've also got batteries here. So I'm going to use batteries uh, because when you build them, they come with some power. So even in survival, when you build them, they'll have some power. But you will need to connect them up to a larger grid to recharge them or use solar panels to recharge them. But for this purpose, I think the batteries will work just fine. So we'll confirm the batteries and if we can toggle between small and large batteries. But I'm going to put one big battery just behind the cockpit there. That should be enough for now. Um, now, the next essential block we need, gyroscopes. So, gyroscope will allow the ship to turn. So you need well, at least one of these. And the more you have, the more effective your ship will be at turning. So let's put, I think for this we only need one. So we'll just put one there at the back. And it can be a slower turner if, if, if the worst case comes. And the last thing we need to get this off the ground is thrusters. Now there are three types of thrusters in the game. We've got uh, iron thrusters, hydrogen and atmospheric thrusters. And irons only really work in space. Um, hydrogens work everywhere and atmospheric, well, only work in atmosphere. So as this is going to be a space uh, ship only, we're going to use these iron thrusters here, so we're going to equip these. And we can see we've got two sizes of thrusters as well. And uh, to do this, there's an important thing to learn about space engineers, and that is that you need thrusters in all directions. So, we're going to need thrusters facing uh, backwards like this. I'm just going to delete this, these excess blocks here. I'll leave it like that. Sideways, up, down, reverse. Because if you don't have thrusters in all directions, then you'll find your ship drifting um, in certain directions, actually. So let's rotate this. There we go. Put two reverse thrusters. Again, this isn't the prettiest ship, but it will do. Uh, then we're going to do some up and down. Hold on, I'm changing. Uh, that's not what I want. This is what I want. Two sideways and also wrong one. There we go. 
Well, actually four down, because this is symmetry mode, of course, so. I'll put one more for the reverse. So actually we have similar thrust in all directions. In fact, the forward thrusters actually have the less, uh, the least amount of thrust, so let's change that in a second here. There we are. Make it the most powerful. Ah, keep switching it. Ah, there we go. And that is all we need to make a ship that will fly. So, the only thing to left to do now is to come up to the cockpit. Once we... Uh, we can actually just enter it right now. We don't have to deselect the controls. And we will need to... And we will need to turn off the landing gear lock which we can do with the Y key. Now, I think I've just locked them because of the controls, so I'm just unlocking and unlocking them here just to make sure we're all good. So, the icon for landing gear is just here. So, I press Y again. They're definitely unlocked now. Now, there we have it. I am flying the ship I built. It's not the prettiest. <laughs> but... It's working, and that is that is the that's all you need to know about building uh, the very the most very basic ship in space engineers. Now, of course, you can make this into a miner, uh, add a, add drills onto it, add weapons onto it, all sorts of stuff, depending on the function of the ship. You can also add more thrusters to make it more powerful or make it not so drifty, because this is this is actually pretty good because of the number of thrusters in all directions for the size of it. But the um, definitely want to take into consideration the bigger your ship gets you'll definitely need more thrusters if you want to sustain um, the speeds and acceleration that you had with the smaller ships so we can descend here can just roll a little bit here and uh, hit the deck and I think we've got automatic lock on the landing gears here so actually hold on I just unlocked it Oh, there we go. It, it auto-locks because the, the setting of the landing gear is automatically to lock, but you can disable that in the control panel. So there we go, guys. That is the very basic ship tutorial. I hope this helped as well, and I hope you can uh, figure out making your own ship too as well. So I hope you enjoyed it, and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.